And here's probably the, the final video for the office is just the organization of this stuff. Um, I got some spare covers right up there and Blu-ray covers. And then some more boxes, just tons of different types of boxes that I like to use for shipping. Here's some more uh, rigid mailers. And then up here are prepackaged brand new Blu-ray cases. Those sell um, fairly well for me, but um, only if they're good enough. And then, of course, bubble mailers for all the brand new DVDs. And then uh, some plastic wrap if needed. And then uh, way over here, we have some packaging material and other things. Um, here's, here's a box of slip covers. Got some uh, packing peanuts and some bubble wrap, basically. And there's some, some paper in there as well. Oh, got some candy. I have to keep it high for my nephews anytime they come over. And I got tons of stamps organized. Uh, so I know what I'll need. These are, um, these are like the licking stamps that are uh, lower amounts, like 8 cents and 22. Sometimes I have to package heavier envelopes, so I have those ready to go and I got them at a good deal. And then uh, I got that sponge there so I don't have to lick them anymore. And uh, let's see up here, I got my tape and stickers and rolly tape and then some more tape. And then uh, over here I got my Google speaker. Hey Google, play some rock music. All right, check out this rock station on YouTube Music. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Hey Google, cancel. And then uh, up here, uh, you know, I, I like my movies, so I got my Star Wars and Batman up there. Got some board games that I like to sell, and then these are like cases that are good enough to be brand new. So I hold on to those just in case I can use them to repackage some stuff. And uh, let's see what else we got down here. Oh, this is just a bunch of TV shows hidden down in there. Twice a year we have a yard sale at my house. It's a citywide yard sale, and I sell all those for about five bucks a piece. So it's profitable just because I don't have to pay for the shipping on it. Um, after I do the chop shopping up here, I'll go down here and I grab all these boxes. These are all organized in different manners. Like I got recycled cases like this one. And then there's like the generic, and then there's some that have stickers on them. They're all organized in a different manner. And I sell those individually as well. Got my trash cans. Uh, there's a junk box. Here's some covers that are already organized by title, and I just need to list them. Almost done with this section, then I need to start on the boxes up behind me. I got my heat gun and my sealer, as well as a ton of cleaning material. Chemicals galore. Um, you know, you got acetone, rubbing alcohol. These are DVD wipes. I don't really care for them. I have a ton of them left, but whatever. Some towels, some polishing pads, sandpaper if needed too. Sometimes the discs have scratches that you can get out with sandpaper. Down here we got more polishing pads, some dusters, and some other labels and whatnot. And uh, down here is just open free space I get to utilize. Oh, and one more little thing is my laptop. And keep that ready to go in case I don't want to be stuck in the office all day and it's a nice beautiful day. So I'll have I'll have myself just go right out here and just sit on my patio and have a good time. Also, out here is my to-go box. I built this um, probably uh, about November and every time the mailman comes he'll come and pick up all my packages that I have ready to go. And it's got a little slam lock, so once he shuts it, it'll lock on its own. And that's the gist of the office.